Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Escalon Book 2. So, we are here on this part of the the coast just south of Port Kudad that we did not fully explore last time for some reason. I guess I just decided to turn around and do something else, expecting this to connect to Port Kudad, of course, back then. But then it turned out that for some reason it actually doesn't, and it's just about to turn. And well, it's just that's just beautiful, isn't it? Oh well, it's fine. I'm actually going to, um, well, I still can't refill my lantern until I get more lamp oil, but I guess with a variety of different shops in the big town, we might actually get lucky sometime soon and get access to another bottle of lamp oil. Um, so, in other words, I'm going to do that. Oh, also, uh, while making my way through the cavern there, I uh, switched to the Ring of the Hawk. And I did indeed, uh, as you can as you can see here, I did notice another, but only one more, uh, hidden um, item cache in the rocks, and it had another small ruby. Uh, oh, there we go. So yeah, unfortunately, not worth a whole lot. But here we can do this and explore, almost as if. Uh, and we're still in the day. So that's really nice. Oh, okay. No, never mind. I don't know why I thought at first that this was something something else but a mold. I mean mold is fine, it's easy experience at this point. I would not mind a whole lot more of those. It's really nice to slowly see these early game enemies become more and more reliable to actually hit. And even if it's only 40 XP per slime, it still adds up. Um, I'm guessing this would, will connect up to the part outside the wall of Port Kudad with the treasure chest. So... Oh really? Does this not connect? Come on. Might not, or maybe? Hard to tell. Never getting entirely by minimap here. Oh, I can't think we can get through. This might actually lead to some sort of maybe outlaw camp. Yep, that's an enemy. Come here. Outlaws are, of course, even better than slimes. Yep, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Fine. Let's not do that then. Let's switch to precision though. Nice. That's a 65% hit chance, which might be among the highest hit chances I've ever had against any enemy. Also, I think this works reasonably well, but then again, so does this. And it does have a good chance of actually one-shotting them, or you know, at least two-shotting. Okay. Unknown, unknown. Actually, this looks like it could be a higher level um, light armor. It's heavy armor? That does not look like chain, come on. <sighs> oh, that's not unidentified. Wind rain plus two dodge, we had those before. It sells for a little bit though, so not too bad. Eh. Overall, not a particularly impressive haul, but hey, it's better than nothing. Not complaining here. Um. Plus, they might have more? No? Maybe not? Oh, spell right now. That's why it's so dark. Should probably also go ahead and heal, huh? While no enemies are around and I don't have to worry about... Oh, okay, actually this whole northern edge of the screen tr transitions. What is up with the sparkly... Actually, it's not sparkling, it's just that these bush bushels of grass just off the off the edge of the map there, stand out in the dark. Kind of interesting. Huh. Okay, well, I guess ultimately there's not going to be anything done this way. I guess I might as well just 
head north to the other map, which is probably gonna make my uh, make the screen shrink again for me. Because this loading screen is just taking so long. No, it didn't this time. Huh, interesting. Come on, please. Clicking on small objects, it's just my nemesis. Okay, some unknown stuff, lots of unknown stuff. Intriguing. Reagent and dried brainstem. Um, okay. Interesting. Some iron throwing axes, which I guess we're keeping now, since we can actually use throwing weapons. Um, and a copper stiletto. Well, okay. Nothing too exciting. Oh, the lantern just went out well. And we absolutely cannot refill that with just one, right? Yeah. Don't have another cheap reagent to put in there just to see if it maybe works with anything in the slot? Probably not. Who knows? Do we have recipes? I mean, I, I only recently noticed by accidentally clicking on this uh, that it actually shows you your known recipes. Not entirely sure why I know these. Maybe these you start with, or maybe I did read a recipe... Um, earlier on and forgot about it. But, I mean, if this works, if refilling the, the lantern works by just combining it with lantern with lamp oil, um, you really should not need a recipe for that, so we'll see. Um, well, anyway, I guess for now, I'll switch to torches, which is possible because it doesn't... there's no storm or rain going on currently. Well, that did not last long. Actually, it's not that much longer until morning. You know what? Let's camp out here. If I can, I can. Just until it gets bright again. Bright enough to see. I guess I didn't really see anything particularly exciting from inside the city walls. Except for the oh okay, yeah. Except for the for the chest and for this smaller walled-in area, which is a little bit intriguing at least. Let's say here, Come on. clicking. Have I mentioned that clicking on objects is <laughs> harder than it should be? Part Kunat wastewater spillway. No swimming, no trespassing. Sorry. Um. There's oh, what is that? Uh, you see under this granite crack that a tunnel has been cut into the exposed bedrock. Okay. Oh, is this actually an entrance? It is. Okay. Well, thanks for making... Uh, that was not obvious to me. Thanks for making that uh, that rock uh, highlightable. Um, all of Port Kudan's wastewater you, flows down here from the streets above. These tunnels echo with the chatter of rodents and other denizens of the dark, while the walls crawl with centipedes and cockroaches. Nice. Oh, and we have mold here. The living variety. I mean, the actually moving, somewhat sentient variety. Any more? No. Not for now. I mean, will we have official business in the city sewers? Probably. Possibly. Um, the thing is, if there isn't an access from, from the city itself, uh, getting here the way I did is really annoying because you have to walk all the way through those stupid caves. Just kind of a bit of a walk. So I think since I'm here and I mean, I'm not, I'm actually surprisingly burdened. I must say, I guess th this thing is pretty heavy. Hmm. Wow, it's just amazing how little I can actually carry with me. How quickly that fills up. But I mean, for now, um, I haven't really done much. I'm, I've used a, a little bit of a few resources. Okay. Let's get rid of the apple finally. Um, put the lantern there, I guess. And the copper knife is actually what we found earlier. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, yeah. In other words, I mean, I might as well start exploring the sewers. Not really any reason not to. 
Should I go with the torch? I mean, sure, why not? And, you know, just in case. Maybe... I guess, I mean, th there's not really a reason why the sewers wouldn't be accessible from the city. In fact, that wouldn't make sense at all. But why have this back entrance? If there's not a reason for that either, so... I don't know, just in case. Maybe this is an area, a part of the sewer is only accessible this way, and I, I'd rather not have to walk all the way back here to enter this place again. So, checking it out now. It looked like this corridor was getting very close to the edge of the map, and it is, but I guess it still continues nonetheless. Maybe we get some rats. I think those look like those slightly tougher rats that we saw, or... Did we not actually see any tougher rats? I'm not that up. Uh, bone butter, Nash. Bone butter, Natchez. Right. Can I please? I guess technically I can have an advantage here. No, they can see in the dark. Okay. Never mind then. But I'm also... I, I guess the game does not consider this actually dark. Or only slightly dark. I guess there is there are, like, gradients in how dark an area is, is considered to be. Because even with cat eyes on, I have no hit penalty at all. Okay, that's... looks like good meat. I guess it really isn't so dark as to absolutely require... Oh, actually. I thought my torch went out, but that was dumb. <laughs> it was just the cat eye effect. Okay. Oh, this looks... Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this place is not entirely pitch black. That's what I'm trying to say. So, even without the torch or the cat eye spell, I can see at least a little bit. Oh, that's a nice amount of gold there. Of course, with the torches better, and I really don't need to be super stingy with them. That looks... I'm not entirely sure if that's a, a kind of red I haven't seen yet. Why don't I practice my throwing skills a little bit? I guess I really don't need to, to keep the copper knife around at all. It just occurred to me. Because I've only been using that to, to pre-damage explosive barrels, but that's really not necessary. Especially as my throwing skills, throwing skill increases, so I can actually deal full damage to barrels by throwing. Um, right. That being said, I'm throwing access seven damage. Actually, wow, that's pretty good. Obviously, I'm gonna use up the the worst ones first. Okay, that's a catacomb red. Yeah, that's the the old type of red. I was wondering if that was like an albino super red or actually the the first kind of red we encountered. Okay, this is actually not really doing anything. Especially since you don't really train your skill by using weapons. Switch to precision. Keep forgetting that it's only one more click from aggression mode. Okay. Red meat and more red meat. Don't think any of these reds are ever gonna drop anything other than that. But you never know. Maybe they will. And even if not, I mean, it's not particularly good food, but it is free food. Actually, a precision hit might be enough to finish it off. Wouldn't suck if it did, if it wasn't though, but oh. Okay, let's do some healing. What? Oh. Yes. Okay, we got more slimes up there. Down to six torches. I mean if I run out of torches down here, not the end of the world. Eventually one of those uh, general merchants 
What is happening, actually? I was wondering if I... Why I saw text scrolling, but I, but I guess I wasn't worrying enough to actually check. So it was just moles killing rats. Stealing my experience, in other words. Not a fan of that. Probably should try and finish off the ones that are that I've already damaged, or the one. worth it? I mean, obviously yes. Also, thanks for not actually killing me there. Did not expect a trap. What might that be? Tinker's Claws. Useless in this game. Or useless in, in my game without durability, I think. Uh, the Soldier's Guide to Heavy Armor. Wait. That means that's gonna teach me Heavy Armor skill, right? Hmm. Interesting. Poems for children. Don't expect that to do much, practically. Through the Lost Realms. I think I've seen that book, but probably not read it. Oh, right. The lamp oil was automatically put there. I was briefly wondering, wait, did I put, a, I put pick up another lamp oil without knowing? But where's the other one? No. Never mind. Just confused myself. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, and I knew that was that was happening. But uh, that used up most of my uh, mana points. Let's see. Cannot rest there because not enough room. Can rest there, though. I might get ambushed by something down here. Did not quick save before, before attempting to rest. I figure whatever is going to ambush me here is not... Should not be a problem, right, if it's just rats and or slimes. In fact, I wouldn't mind that at all. Didn't happen, though, unfortunately. Oh, well. Okay, so I guess let's read this. Soldiers of the Commonwealth Guard are required to be proficient in armor types that are capable of absorbing considerable damage. Examples of these armors include, but are not limited to, chainmail, scale mail, plate mail, etc. The Commonwealth will provide a soldier with armors based on position and rank. The metal types will range from bronze to more durable alloys such as steel. Steel and alloy? Is it technically an alloy? Hmm. This will be allowed, but the expenses will be that soldiers will be that soldier's own responsibility. Additionally, any custom armor will need to meet the Commonwealth the Commonwealth's strict design specifications. For more information, see the book titled Commonwealth Guide to Weapons and Armor Design Specifications and Commonwealth Approval Approved Magical Enhancements. Um, the following chapters in this guide will outline proper armor use as well as basic maintenance to extend the life of armor in the field. This should increase the soldier's survivability and reduce the amount of necessary repairs, which also, uh, which are also the financial responsibility of the soldier. Although it makes for extremely dry reading, you are able to glean enough information to increase your own skill with handling heavier armors. And indeed, I have now gained the skill just like that. Poems for children. And the book is still there for me to sell. It's kind of the the best thing about this. A mischief of rats. A mischief of rats have come out to play. Up, up on the table without delay. They chew on the wood. They gnaw on the stone. They've eaten my fingers right down to the bone. Nice. I sure would have loved that as a kid. That's for sure. Um, through the Lost Grounds, was it? This book tells us... This book tells the tale of a young boy who, while playing in the woods behind his village, falls into a ravine that and hits his head. And hit his head. Losing consciousness. When he comes to, he makes his way home only to find that there are complete strangers living there. Running back into the woods in fear, he stumbles across a wondrous ship possessed by a sentient spirit. The ship is capable of fantastic feats, such as altering its, its shape and flying through the skies. The ship agrees to help the boy escape and takes off for the distant lands. For distant lands. 
Believing he was somehow transported to a different place, he is determined to find his way back to his family. To do so, he begins to learn the arts of mapping and navigation, visiting various towns and cities. He picks up the skills of using his sextant, navigating by stars, and, accur and accurately mapping his surroundings. Okay, I was not expecting this to be the book on cartography, but, but I'll take an extra point. Uh, anyway, he eventually becomes a cartographer of such skill that he is able to sense the presence of people and objects around him and pinpoint their locations on a map of his making. That would be extremely convenient. But I don't know how many more points it takes. I mean, with any luck, only six. That would be amazing, but um, we'll see. Uh, through his developing skills, the young boy becomes an expert navigator and his many adventures in both strange and vaguely familiar lands. And has many adventures. The story concludes with him heading into uncharted lands with the hope of someday discovering what became of his home. There is a subtle hint of possible second volume, a possible second volume that finishes his tale. Contained with this, within this child's tale are many tips and tricks to the skill of cartography. Even without locating and reading the second volume, you are able to glean enough information to significantly complement your own knowledge of mapping. Well, two levels? Whoa. Okay, that is amazing, actually. I wonder if there really is a second volume. It kind of makes it sound like there is. I mean, it could just be just, you know, some flavor text, but I think it's quite possible that there is another one. I mean, that's amazing. Two skill points? I mean, heck yeah. Can we already see any different, uh, any, any difference in the mapping? It's two points of difference should... Okay. Poison. I can thankfully deal with poison. Okay, that was not a very strong poison either. Save the game though. Holy crap. Maybe it would be worth putting on this spot hidden ring here. I mean, I'm not going to miss the one extra point of damage. Also, I am encumbered. Right, and I keep forgetting that that actually... Huh? Oh, there. Yeah, that, that, that does actually reduce my damage a little bit. And to hit. But not, not really that much. Okay, normal rats. And stronger rats. I'm not fighting in precision mode here. Come on. More red meat. That's a lot of rats. Come on. Okay, I'm actually kind of dying here. Just a little bit. Alright, no longer dying. It's fine. Oh, did not realize there was another red there. No problem. Come on. Oh no. What? Tapeworms. Food consumption three, food consumed three times more quickly. Wow. Okay. That actually sucks a lot. That sucks. Uh, stupid rats. I knew... I knew there was a risk of... potentially getting a disease from these... Stupid... Whatever. I'm probably gonna be fine, maybe. There might be a healer in town. <sighs> Jade key and lockpick. Well, good thing I came here for the Jade key. That's probably gonna be important at some point, if I had to guess. Would be surprised if not. Okay. <sighs> well, first of all, I need to heal. I guess I might as well have a drink and maybe eat some red meat. That seems perfect. Just a short little dead end. What are you? You're an enemy. But you're not an outlander, I think. That looks more like some sort of assassin. Hmm. 
I mean, we have a thief skill going on in the sewers. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, a whole lot of nothing over here. More rats. Surprisingly, I'm slowly outrunning rats. Where's the one that's damaged? Oh, of course it's all the way in the back. Can I maybe actually finish this off with a thrown weapon? Would that be possible? Oh, yes, I, I did, actually. Okay. no more diseases. I wonder if they can give you different kinds of diseases. Now that I've said it, it's probably going to happen. Okay. That's for another chest. Almost 200 gold in it. Not bad. Did I leave loot? Oh. Wait. Did I though? No. Weird. Now it's gone from the map. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say, there's... I mean, I should eventually find some other entrance to the sewers, right? Well, there it is. Is this maybe where I need the key? Indeed, the J key did release the lock. Give me that extra torch. I am slowly but surely running out. Hmm. Um, okay. Let's bring that one. What's it, what did it do, actually? 12 points of damage? Okay. Barb darts. Piercing my arms and neck. It sounds more... more painful than those couple of points of damage. Oh, okay. I mean... 50%? Well... Could have worked. Noxious cloud? Uh, noxious is just poison, right? Welp. And poisoned I have been. Thankfully again, not a very strong poison. Okay, well. Barb darts. Same as the first one. Oh, come on. Eventually... <coughs> I must be able to successfully design one of these, right? That it is going to give me experience. There we go. Not a, not an insignificant amount either. So I think it's kind of worth it, so long as it's nothing particularly super dangerous. What's going to happen if I detect a dart that's covered by a wall? A, a dart, a, a trap. I guess I just wouldn't be able to see it. Okay. Surely this was the only trap room, right? Right? Hmm. This little room is tidy, dry, and warm. It seems to be some sort of reception area. Interesting. And we found the 
the key to this place on a corpse lying on the other end of the sewers, maybe indicating that the owner of this place, well, this is highly suspicious, that the owner of this place um, actually died, right? Because who else would be carrying the, the key to this place? Hmm. A reception area. A green dragon banner on the wall. What is this? Do we get a message about this? Where hammer and strength fails, may I succeed with delicate finesse. I can grant the kingly access if only you would get to know me. Kind of thing, huh? Put the correct item into each of these and then hit the lever and something good will happen. Where hammer and strength fails, may I succeed with delicate finesse. I can grant the kingly access. Kingly access. If only you would get to know me. Uh, I swim in the seas and crawl through the rocks. I'm the preserver of flesh and the spice of life. That's gotta be salt. Swim in the seas? I mean, sure. Crawl through the rocks? I'm not entirely sure how... Oh, I guess that is rock salt. Okay. It's not exactly crawling, though. <laughs> Obviously makes it sound more like a living creature, which salt certainly is not. But um, I happen to have a bag, bag of salt, so... There. That's pretty. That seems pretty obvious to me. A candescent drop upon an ivory tower. Candescent drop upon an ivory tower. A candle. Actually, have I found a candle before? I think I might have found a candlestick as a miscellaneous item, just for selling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure actually. Okay. I'm a tool of absolute power. In the hands of the knowledgeable, I help forge laws, proclaim wars, craft worlds, and keep history. Okay, that's got to be like a quill, which I might also have seen. I think I have, actually. Okay, let me let me write that down. I mean, I'm actually pretty certain about both the quill and the, and the candle. Not entirely sure about the first one. I mean, these are all somewhat mundane objects. I was thinking about uh, a dagger when it... With this first one. But I'm not sure if it's if these will take any any kinds of weapons or you know that kind of item. Makes me think that, you know, judging judging by these other three items. I mean salt is a reagent, I th or actually, is it though? No, it's also miscellaneous. So these might actually all be miscellaneous items. Huh. Hammer and strength fails. May I succeed with delicate finesse? And can grant the kingly access if only you would get to know me. What would grant you kingly access? Like access to the royalty or to the royal palace? If you knew it. Some sort of password? Hmm. Hammer and strength fails. Why specifically hammer and strength? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure about that one. Okay, anyway, uh, first of all, uh, Kudad Sewers uh, Northwest Candle Quill Question mark Um Keep an eye out for those, especially for the question mark. <sighs> Could I? Hmm, I don't know. Would be convenient if the the game provided all the necessary items somewhere down here, but I guess no such luck. I guess I'm gonna close the one that I've already filled. Not that it matters. Hmm, heaven strength fails. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually had the item on me? But I don't think I do. A book? Maybe there is a book about... I don't know. Royal etiquette or something? Delicate finesse? Hmm. Maybe? Something like that? I'll uh, definitely keep an eye out for... something that might fit the description. 
next time I visit a uh, general store. Okay, interesting. Definitely interesting. Also, let's take a quick look up here. Okay, it leads us to this building here. This random sewer access, not locked at all, so we absolutely could have entered the sewers from here. Port Kudat Wastewater Maintenance Entrance. All right, fair enough. Don't keep out. This building has been condemned by the Port Kudat Housing Authority. Condemned, huh? Hmm. Huh. There is... Well, it's not actually connected to that, though. It seems to apply to this. Oh, that's locked. I mean, sure. Nice. Got lucky. No one noticed either. I mean, there's nothing inside, though. Except for this weird stone slab. Oh. oh. Cool. <sighs> Wicked sunrise, huh? Oh, whoa. Okay. I... Narrowly avoided that, I guess. Might as well try. Should give some decent experience if I do manage it. I didn't. Oh, I've caught more tapeworms. I guess that's... Ah, oh, festerings too. Okay. That was not the sunrise. Nice. Yeah, good experience, actually. More traps? Yep, sure enough. How did I avoid these? That's crazy. Thief's surprise. Uh, yeah, sure. How bad could it be, right? Well, okay. Not actually as bad as the as the first one. Huh. Okay, there might be another one around here, maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, seems like we might might be done. I guess I have been wasting my torch, huh? Oh well. Who are you? Oh, that's locked. You know what? Never mind. I mean, it seems kind of silly to break into a, a home where someone is, well, someone is at home, just to talk to them. Take that apple, though. Um, I would not mind if I could find like a. Is this locked? It is not. Uh, okay. Wouldn't mind if I could find an alchemist, or healer, or, you know, magic shop that sells cure disease potions. Because I'm not particularly excited about the idea of using up more food. Oh, well, that was a bit disappointing. Okay, it's apparently the game notes doors and bright green now. It's not particularly pretty, but I guess it's somewhat convenient. It's interesting how the door, how the building with a person inside has a locked door, and these unoccupied buildings do not. I'll give it a try, a single try. Nope, okay. Not gonna go too crazy about trying to pick these open. I don't know, should I, should I finish exploring the sewers first? Of course I could just get new tapeworms. Even after I find a way to heal them, and that would suck. Hmm. For the time being, it's not that bad, I guess. One of those each. There should be plenty of food to buy in, in town, so I guess I'll maybe finish off, finish off my exploring for now. Oh, I mean, there, actually, there's a lot of a map, a lot of map left, <clears throat> so. That might not be that close. This should lead to this part with the weird shadowy person. Maybe not? Well, actually, maybe not. Never mind. I guess that's accessible from the from that little intersection there that I backed away from. But I'm hoping that this will eventually just connect around. Okay, something to hack open. Yeah, 
nothing. And more nothing. And more reds. I mean, at the very least, they can't take worm me again, so... But they can give me troll fever, apparently. <sighs> so that's minus 50, minus 50 percent strength and endurance. That sucks a lot. Endurance? Does that actually reduce my hit points? Oh, I'm definitely overburdened. Yeah, I can't. I literally can't walk anymore. <sighs> I did quick save. I mean, I, I literally can't do anything. I guess I could throw away stuff until I'm. Under 90 pounds? That's not going to happen. Sorry. Sorry. I Typically, I, I don't want to cheese things by reloading when something bad happens. And, you know, I, well, I want to keep that to a minimum. But this is one of those situations where I absolutely am going to reload. Sorry. Especially when it turns out that I actually literally saved here. I thought... I don't know. I, I did not remember that I saved literally as I saw the mouse. Mouse red, whatever. Even though it only happened, like, seconds before that. Oh well. I mean, it's good that I did. It's just silly that I didn't remember. Right. Let's get this fully on the map. Just in case. And we have another dead end with a chest. Is it trapped? Nope. Okay, got tans, draw water, unknown rocks, and an unknown... I think that's an explosive type of potion. Yep. Uh, charm cloud. Hmm, interesting. Hide leggings, two armor, not as good as the one that I bought recently. Uh, did I pick up something else? I guess not. No. Oh, jacket stones. Those were identified. Yeah. I guess. Okay. I guess unknown items that you have identified before that you have that stack with things that you have identified in your inventory. Those will get auto identified as, and added to the stack. Right. I had noticed that in, in the past. <clears throat> okay. Normal reds. No problem. Although these are probably also capable of. Diseasing me. If they get a hit in. More meat? Nope. I'm kind of suspicious chest just sitting out in the open like that. Sure enough. Why didn't I stop in front of this one to, uh, to and wait a few turns just to see if I could detect the trap? No one knows. Yoink. Okay, this should lead to... No, never mind, it doesn't. Wait, this is not connected to anything. Hmm, you got these suspicious cracked walls though. Could it be? Huh. 28% chance. Sure. Ah, oh, so close. This one I'm gonna try a few more times. Oh, okay, well, or not. Uh, I think I've seen that type of ring before, Sparkling Wonder. It's uh, an unarmed combat, yeah, Brawl's Ring. Not very... It looks kind of fancy, but it's unfortunately not particularly valuable or useful. Hmm. Seriously, though... There's treasure, there's a lever there. Huh. I mean, there... No, I don't see a, a passage. So I'm not sure how that would connect. Okay, that connects here. That's good to know, though. And this is actually another dead end. Alright, yeah, so I mean, I doubt that this is gonna... This final missing corridor here... It's going to be the answer to how we get into, into here, I guess. But we'll see. Oh, yeah. In fact, that's just... 
just a dead end, just like that. Hmm. I mean, the game does not provide any explosives down here, which makes me skeptical. In addition to, you know, those cracked walls, the few times that I've tried blowing them up... Oh. I somehow walked down this corridor without... Bixby's... Okay. Noxious is fine. Although I would prefer the experience, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there are crack walls all around the place, so... Hmm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That actually is extremely obvious, an extremely obvious solution to the, to the problem. Just having another separate access from the town level, and that just had not somehow occurred to me. Okay. Well, actually, now I've seen the entire place, so I can just return to the stairs. And I guess I'm going to do that next time. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. I was not, obviously not expecting to encounter this little mini dungeon, but I'm glad that I did. I mean, uh, the disease is slightly worrying, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to find a cure for it in town, one way or the other. Um, I guess I could always return to Father What's-His-Face back in East Willow and pay him for it, right? But they might have a church here, so... Church or a healer otherwise. In fact, they probably do. It would be kind of weird if not. Okay, torches used up. Down to four torches. Hopefully I'll be able to buy some more. Um, okay. Oh, uh, could this be? I mean, this leads downstairs. From above, somehow. Interesting. How would I even... How, how would I even? Wait. How does this work? Um, hmm. If this is the staircase connecting to that one that I saw just now, leading down to that thieves' den or whatever, how would I ever <laughs> get to this, to the staircase up? Is this building connected to another building up through some sort of bridge? Uh, this is mysterious. Well, I guess I'll explore the the whole town first before I uh, uh, start drawing any conclusions or, you know, start worrying too much about, about these kinds of things. But this is uh, a bit of a mystery. I mean, if this is not the staircase, in fact, it is, you know, geographically it makes no sense. There is obviously not enough distance between this one and the one I just came up from. Uh, compared to the distance of the of the staircases in the on the map below. So this does not actually correspond, but if it doesn't correspond to that, um, I certainly didn't see another disconnected area, right? Where this could lead to. So that is, yeah. For now it's a bit of a mystery, but we'll see. Maybe it's become, uh, it's, it's going to become clear soon enough. Right. Uh, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.